All right, uh, Jason George first played Dr. Ben Warren during Great Anatomy's sixth season. And, you know, you were kind of in and kind of out, kind of mm -hmm. in, kind of out. The show's now in the 13th season. Yeah, yeah, now you're full time. 13th full season, which is kind of Full time crazy. now. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got a regular job now. Yes, okay. Um, we've got a scene to show. A dying patient mistakes you for a priest. It happens all the time. I, I, I was gonna, uh, no, I was sir. gonna fix it. Fix it? I, they said it was an earthquake last year. And the foundation was crumbling. Is he talking about the collapse? I was getting the money. Please, please. Give me. Okay, please. okay, okay, sir, sir. Have I killed all these people? Sir, sir, sir. I'll get a crash cart. Okay, notify CT. Get five lorazepam. Start a benzo drip. Did somebody get a damn priest? A what? A priest. Oh, a priest. damn priest. Get an actual priest. They thought he was a priest. No, I got last that. Wife. I thought you were asking for a priest. I don't, I'm not cool. even play a priest on TV. Yeah. Um, right. Not a real doctor either. Who's that actor? Uh, oh, I'm forgetting his name, but yeah. he was a great guy. He was good. He was uh, good. Yeah, he was yeah. good. He was yeah. great. Yeah. We had some great actors that day. Uh -huh. All right. Now, I, I just want to clarify something here. You joined it in the sixth season. Yeah. But it's, so, it, I guess, it's, yeah. it's Shonda World, right? It's, so, it's Shondaland, yes. Yeah, Shondaland. It's so, a real place. <laughs> so you were there, and you were in the show, and then you kind of visited once in a while. <laughs> yeah. and then, but at yeah. some point, you got anointed. How did that work? Well, it's like, you know, Shondaland's like a real place. And I was just looking for a plot of land, <laughs> you know, yeah. and then I was trying to, like, you know, buy some real estate. So I did a pilot for Shonda, which is how I first met her. Mm -hmm. And then she brought me on as Ben Warren on the show to just do, like, four episodes. And then I think I was originally supposed to do Bailey Dirty and mm -hmm. then, like, get right. sent on my way, get <laughs> sick packing. But then Shonda put me on to a show that she did. We shot in Hawaii, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a show called Off the Map uh, right. with uh, Martin Henderson. Yes, good show. Uh, who's, who's went right the off show. the map, though. Yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we did half a season. Yeah, done. okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you, you're no luck to me whatsoever. Yeah. Uh oh, stay um, away. Yeah, but, uh, but, yeah, so that was. Uh, so the whole time I was doing that, I was still playing this character. And then I went and did a show called Mistresses, also for ABC. Right, mm -hmm. right. And the whole time I was doing that, so sometimes I'd be at Mistresses in the morning and then Grey's in the afternoon. And it was like, you know, running around with my underwear and a little baggie or something like that. So, right. Wow. I, do, I do that too yeah. here. So, uh, uh, when, did, uh, when did Chanda say, all right, stop it. We're going to give you a full-time job here. Well, it was funny because, you know, at one point, they, uh, actually right before I took the job of Mistresses, the script came up where my character became an intern at, you know, mm -hmm. Grace Sloan Hospital, which is kind of like the precursor to becoming right. a regular on that, the show. That's triple A going into the major Yeah, race. exactly. That's yes. like you're going to the show. Yes. You're going to the show. Got and it. that happened about, I saw that script about four days after I took the job on Mistresses. Oh, wow. Uh, and I said, yeah. wow, oh, you can't yeah. tell a brother nothing? You can't yeah, let yeah. me know. <laughs> but, uh, but no, but it worked, it worked, it, it worked out great. It, 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 it's worked out great. And, uh, and yeah, so it's, um, the last few years, you know, I came on as a regular last season. And it's just been a great resurgence with, uh, you know, the, you know so many, High schoolers and that sort of thing watching the show on mm -hmm. online, and so we've had this great resurgence of audience, and the ratings are the best they've been in years. So. Yeah, and no people, doubt. you know, people who want to have never watched it, they say, "I'm going to binge watch it." They don't realize they're giving up a year of their it's life. Pretty this much. This is where you realize point, that yeah. the only people who binge watch this show are. 16 to 19, mm. maybe 20, with nothing else going on. Because all the time I get told, they're like, yeah, yeah. I binge watched from episode one. I'm like, you know, it's like 260 hours that's yeah, right. that's of crazy. TV. But they're like, yeah, I did it in like about two, three weeks. And I'm oh like, what yeah. else did you do? Nothing. I don't, they nothing. Did, they did okay. nothing. Let's, okay, so let's go back for a minute. We right. gotta, we gotta show the picture. All right, this is for you. Yeah, this is what, for you, Quban. Quban. Wow. There wow. you go. Wow. Quban, pay attention. Wow. Oh, there's here. Hank. Wow. Hank is on the end. <laughs> And um, <laughs> I actually saw Hank wow. in town, and I went, oh, and he took, anyway, yeah, I he love Sunset you? Beach. He remembered <laughs> I started stalking him. Um, no, no, seriously, though, I love this show because of the writing. That's why. And you're oh, because of the writing. Show. Because the, <laughs> and, and, um, and, and right, the, the many, many statues we had for uh, <laughs> your character's name. And the award goes to uh, on that show was, that was, uh, Michael, was Michael Bourne. Bourne. And yes. your name is Jason. And Jason, yeah. yeah. So, so there was, there was like tons of Bourne identity things. And this yeah. is before the movie came back right, out. Right, right, uh right. -huh. So there was a whole resurgence where people were hitting me oh up again, boy. going, "Hey, look at this!" Okay. And I was like, "Yeah," because nobody's ever made that joke. Let me show a pretty picture. Let me put a picture of uh, the family up here. Okay, all right. Where is kids? it? See? I swear it's here. Just you, just wait. <laughs> okay. You just wait. Ah, oh, wow. there worth waiting it for. Is. Yeah, those are the three little Blendians. So, twelve-year-old and two set of uh, twins. Yeah, the twins. Uh, eight-year-old. Yeah, they're eight years old. Yeah, yeah my wife's from uh, was born in New Delhi. So, uh, you know. You know what? She's one of those immigrants. I, oh, oh, those. Yeah, she's, immigrants. she's one of those. You know, she heard. She she's thought a, you met her in a New Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was in arts, I actually. See. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, I love the story about how you met your wife. See, in college, yes. in the dorm, can you tell it? Yeah, so uh, we, we, we met in college, and we were at the University of Virginia, and I was doing things in my dorm room that you're not supposed to do. Like? <clears throat> like we were having, uh, we were drinking uh, soda. Soda. Yeah. Soda. Mm -hmm. Were you an RA? Uh, I was an RA the year, the next year. Yeah, you were drinking the soda year. when you were an RA. And my, I was the RA who said, "Listen, here's the deal. If you mm -hmm. don't do it as well as I did it and get away with uh. it, then I will make <laughs> not only will I bust you, but I will make fun of you." Okay. So anyway, I'm, we're uh, we're in the room having a little party going on, and we're being silly. And I don't know why, but I was doing this random ape impersonation. I don't know why, because it was mm -hmm. funny to us at the time. Because so you bust, were drinking soda. Because we were drinking soda, <laughs> yeah. and that's what you do when you got a sugar high going on. Uh, so I bust out the door. And in full ape mode, I look down the hall and I see two girls talking to a guy. And so while you're in ape mode, what do you do? You go down and you throw a, a woman over your shoulder and you drag her back in your room and just start crawling over top of furniture with her. And that's basically the first real conversation Isn't I ever had. Isn't the University of Virginia in trouble for that right now? <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's a whole conversation about what constitutes sexual assault. But here's the key. The key is if it's unwanted. Ah. ah. Unwanted. Did, when did she make up her mind that she wanted it? Um, well, about the time I, I, I threw her down on the bed and her faces were like this close, wait, and I realized wait, wait, wait. you, you, you wow, got to go one way or the other. Wow, wow. I gotta, I, she must be a wonderful woman because <laughs> what is, is there within an ape coming down the hallway <laughs> that throws you over your shoulder that makes her hey. want you? Hey, in, women in, like in, strong men. In, there you go. See that? Yeah. See that? Yeah, but strong In, in context, it was funny and charming. Okay. Hey, 17 mm. years, it's working for you. You know what I'm saying? We've been married for a minute and together yes, for a yes. week. I've been with her. Not necessarily married, but been with her for over half my life at this point. Grey's Anatomy airs Woo! tonight at 8 o'clock on ABC. Good. good for you. That good was fun. You, you got to come back. Yeah. yeah.